hi guys, uh, I'm Juan here and I'm going to show you today how to do this simple effect in Axure when you're doing some sort of uh, rapid prototyping. It's just you click in these little buttons and as you can see the text just moves around. It's a very basic slider and when you click on it, it changes the color. So you have a selected state. So I'm going to go and go to Axure and I've already set up this document with, I've got a background image, I've got a my heading here and then I've got a little running header there and then a little circle which eventually is going to be my button. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create what's called a dynamic panel so I can host or I can have different messages within the same element or the same kind of panel. So I'm going to click uh, using shift then control click to get my drop down menu and you see down the bottom the last option says convert to dynamic panel. What that's going to do is visually we get that little sort of an opacity just showing where the panel is going to be and we can see in your widget manager automatically now it says dynamic panel and it's in brackets. What I can do is I can change the name of these so I'm going to call these uh, my message slider. You can definitely call it anything you want. As soon as I change their name, what I can come here is instead of state 1, I probably would call that message 1. Yeah. To save myself some time, I know the messages as you saw on our example, they're pretty much the same. So what I'll do is I'm just going to duplicate that message because I want the same type, I want the same color and I want the same location. So I'm just going to click the drop down menu and you can duplicate this state and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to call it message 2 and do the same thing for the third one so duplicate state and this should be message 3 right so I'm going to go to my message 2 double clicking I, the reason why I have the black background so you could see the text here is something that I'm going to change eventually but I've got the other text right in here so I'm just going to go quickly and change that here Okay, just to save a little bit of time, so I've changed all my messages right here, so I'm just going to go to my home page. Now I'm going to focus on this button, and this button is obviously the one that two things have to happen. I'm going to change how it looks or behaves, and it's the one triggering all the actions. So first I'm going to change how it looks. So there are two things that we need to be considering here in our properties. The first one is the mouse over and the other one is the selected stage. Mouse over, as you know, when you roll over an object, it's just going to change its appearance. And the selected state, it's more like when I click on the message, it's going to change color. And it's, it's just a nice little thing to tell your viewers that that's the area that it's selected. Uh, to do this is very simple here in Axure, which is pretty cool. You just click the mouse over and you can change the attributes. Now notice on the left, or it actually gives you a preview of what's happening. I've created myself a very simple style, so I'm going to go base style and I'm going to say button over and you can see how it changes, just giving you, okay, this is what it's going to happen. As soon as I click OK, it just goes back to normal because I'm not hovering over it. And the selected stage, it's very similar. So I'm just going to go click the selected option, base style, drop down menu, button selected. And you can see that it shows you what it's going to happen. At the moment, I don't have anything, I don't have that selected option. So it doesn't, you can't really see it. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the shape name and this one's going to be called message one. That's because we're going to need this name in order to later on reference an action or a case so I can bring the message I want. I'm going to duplicate these. So I'm going to go option and drag one and again. So you can see I've got a copy of them. So they all have the same mouse over and selected option. So it's a really quick way of applying these. What I need to do though now is I'm going to click this guy and obviously I don't want this one to activate message one so I'm going to call this one message two and I'm going to call this one exactly message three. Now I'm going to go to the first button and I'm going to add some actions or I'm going to create a case. Basically what I want to do is when I click bring this message and when it's selected make it green. So I'm going to go on click everything's going to happen here on click you can change the name of the case one, I'm going to leave it as it is. But the first thing I need is I'm going to go to my dynamic panels option and then we're going to go to set panel state. This is the option that allows me to A, identify my dynamic panel message slider, which is the one we did before, great. And then it identifies all the different states. So message one, two, one, three and other options that we're not going to use in here. So 
first button should activate the state number one. The animation is going to be slight to the left, 300 milliseconds, and slight to the left, 300 milliseconds. That's fine. All that that's going to do is we're going to move the text to the left. And I don't need to activate any of these ones because I don't have widgets or any nothing's hidden here. It's my first state, so when I click on it, it's going to activate this message. Great. Now I need to find a way of making sure that when I turn this button or click this button, it just activates the color. To do that, I'm going to go to my widgets option here and I'm going to select this one, set selected checked. So I'm going to click on it and you can see it finds my message one shape, message two shape, and message three shape, which is basically these buttons. So what you can do here is, I want you can change the state of each particular shape. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to click the first one, and by default it said true. So if it says true, that means that when you click this button, it's going to activate the selected button selected, which in my case, it's going to be green. However, I need to turn these two, just in case, into false, so they go back to white. So I'm going to go on this message 2, I'll click it and turn it into false and then this third shape, turn it into false. That's all you need to do. Easy. Now I need to do that three times but the cool thing about Actua is that I can actually come and highlight my case, command C to copy, go to my second shape, message 2, I'm going to go to on click and paste it. So I pasted all those things. We do need to make a few changes, but it's not like we have to start everything from zero. I can go to the first one, which is set that message one, which is not what I want. This is my second button, as you can see, message two. All I need to do is change the state to two. And then in my selected option, I need message one to be false in this case, and I need message two to be true. Pretty simple, huh? And I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to copy case one, come to the third option, make sure, command V, double click, slider, I want this to be message three, and I want these to be false, and my shape three to be true. Click OK, and I think that's done. Let's test it. Command Shift P to change these, and rollover is working fine. You click, it changes, and the button stays active. You can click through them, and that's all you need to do. Hopefully you enjoy it, and see you next time. Bye.